The next option is pre-feed and auto pre-feed. How these options work is when enabled or engaged, the cutter will pre-feed the media so that as the media travels under the push rollers, they establish tracks under the outside push rollers. Once the tracks are established, the push rollers will follow these tracks back and forth. Let's examine pre-feed and auto pre-feed to see the difference. Pre-feed, when engaged, will ask for the pre-feed length and then immediately feed the media to that length. Auto pre-feed, on the other hand, when enabled, will ask for the pre-feed length but will not pre-feed the media until a job has been sent from the computer. Let's demonstrate pre-feed and press the pause menu key and then the 4 key for media. In this menu, to engage pre-feed, press the 1 key and this menu is displayed. Here we can set the length of the pre-feed. When enter is pressed, the media starts moving slowly forward. As it moves forward, it is establishing tracks on the back of the media. Then once the media is retracted, a job or jobs can be sent to the cutter. Let's see how auto prefeed works when enabled. Let's press the 2 key, press the 1 key, and then the 1 key again to enable the auto prefeed. We can then set the length of the prefeed by pressing the 2 key, and then setting the length. Press escape to go to the previous menu, and then press enter to accept the change. Press the pause menu key to get the cutter back to the default menu. The cutter is ready to accept a job. When the job is sent, the cutter starts to pre-feed the media and once it is finished, we'll then cut the job.